Okay, you've been about 10 feet up in the air a couple times. It's gonna make for a good ass video. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. We are getting ready to head to Screven Motor Speedway this weekend, chasing $5,000 with the SCDRA series. The rain chances for this weekend have looked kind of bad lately. We're hoping we get the show in. We really need a good run to make up for the bad runs we've had the last couple of races. Thought we were getting ready to load stage fright here behind us, but I was taking the car up the road, doing a couple test pulls, and for whatever reason, I don't have third gear. I'm going to take the transmission out. That way we don't hurt it, and I can get it right before we put it back in. I'm going to get chipping away on that. Hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and we will see you at Strevin Motor Speedway. Motor Speedway and we're almost ready to go. We have open practice tonight along with the first round of qualifying but the car counts are a little low tonight. I think the weather had a big part to play in that. It was literally pouring rain at my house around 4 30, 5 o'clock and I know a lot of the guys that travel a long way didn't want to make the drive with the possibility of having to go home empty-handed. We are getting ready to roll out for practice now. Let's see if these changes we made help the car. I might sneak in here and figure out all the secrets right here. Oh yeah, got them, baby. Got them. What are you saying, Willie? Forgot to cut the nitrous on? Yes, correct. <laughs> so you think the TPS is acting up? It will. We want that TPS wire to plug. Yeah. Hey, hold, hold the plug and just wiggle the wire, if that makes sense. You wiggle the wire right now? Now wiggle the plug. Alright. Moving around. Do you think that little bit of fluctuation would be something weird or what? Yeah, I think it would mess with the tune a little bit and cause it to do some weird stuff. All right, guys, we're back here at the shop after having a pretty terrible qualifying run last night. We qualified 13th, but we just really missed the setup on the car. I'm gonna go back to a similar setup to what I was running when I first built the car. We can't continue to struggle like we have been just because we're in a pretty tight points battle for the championship. We did fall back to second after our run at Cherokee, but you know, we're coming back for that top spot. The track was pretty wet last night. They did get like a late afternoon rainstorm. Tonight should be a different story. I'm just hoping mother nature holds off and doesn't dump a bunch of rain on us because if she does, we're gonna be right back in the same conditions that we were last night. I do think that the track has the potential to be faster tonight. 
So cross our fingers that we don't get any more rain and we'll just have to see how it goes. We got round number two qualifying tonight. We got B mains and the main event. We got a lot of work going on over here. We got stage prior almost back together. Will's car's in here, we're working on it. What do you got going on with this thing? Oh man, a leaking radiator and you to the rescue, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, he just put a new radiator in this thing. Well, unfortunately, Mother Nature won tonight, so we're just hanging out in the shop, watching the Lucas Oil Series at Q-Sits tonight, and uh, popping a couple bottles, enjoying a cold beer, and some time off. It's Rob's birthday today. We're gonna sing him happy birthday real quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rob. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow out the imaginary candles on his happy and cake. Don't mind the fact that it's half eaten. We kind of got into it a little bit earlier. All right, guys, it's day number three of our weekend at Screven Motor Speedway. So far, all we've really done is get rained on all weekend. Today is a different scenario. We are running midday and going straight into features only. Since I qualified 13th the first night, that's where I'm gonna be rolling off. And I'm not really sure what to think about it since we just made a bunch of changes to the car, but We'll just have to give our best shot, try to bring home a decent finish. Like I said last night, I'm really hoping that the track conditions aren't really muddy and sloppy. We did get a steady rain last night, but it didn't just sit there and downpour on us. So there's a potential that it might be all right. It kind of just depends on how many super late models are there. When they're there, that kind of blows off the track and I'm hoping that they kind of run it in to be multi-groove. We're taking care of some stuff around the shop, but we'll be heading to the track soon. <laughs> to go out for round number two of qualifying. I thought that it was gonna be features only today, but we are actually getting a second round, which is a good thing for us. I made a lot of changes in the car. I'd like to see how the car does before a feature event. So we're gonna go out there and try to improve our starting spot a little bit, and see what she does. <laughs> in that round we are sitting third fastest i'm feeling really good about the car it was much better than the first round of qualifying so i'm looking forward to the main event i think we're going to have a strong chance of winning you guys struggling a little bit <laughs> yeah but really you take over got to get those shots for the youtube people are you ready yeah, i'm about as ready as i can be but Hoping the bottom group kind of came in a little bit because I'm trying it and so and see what we can do. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. We start seventh and go there and try to say 
hello to Reed and give him a little kiss on the door and uh, hopefully get past him and see what we can do. Hopefully we're a good finish for most of us though. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully a one-two finish. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs>
I like it? Yeah. It's rough. Yeah, I got a <laughs> hey, you've been about 10 feet up in the air a couple times. I know. This is going to make for a good ass video. this close yeah overall it was a really good race uh, the car was really good towards the end there I could kind of enter a little lower into one and just let my car slide up past where the roughness in the track was and then drive out from there I want to say sorry to Newman Presnell we were coming out for that one lap and I got crossed up in the wheel and once the, the car hooked I drove down the track into him I'm really sorry about that I didn't mean to drive him like that also sorry to my buddy Will, I thought I was clear going down into one one lap. Tried to slide him, but uh, I could feel him back there on my right rear a little bit. That race was absolutely crazy. Shout out to Screvin for putting this thing on on a Sunday. They could have sent us home empty handed, but here we are. We got the race in and it was an epic one for sure. Shout out to all my sponsors, Action Graphics, Jason Waters Tuning, 
DAM Trucking, k &R Services, Binding Tools, Southeast Performance. Of course, my boy Kurt Burrell at Trick Shop Productions for always giving me fire thumbnails. Thank you guys for watching. And I want to say thank you to all you guys for subscribing to the channel and also coming to the track buying shirts, stickers, hats. All that stuff goes directly back into making this bigger and better. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one.